Welcome back to another Painted by Fame. So today I'm doing a look inspired by my entry for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. So we're going to block out our brows first and foremost, and we're going to etch out a socket line using a L'Oreal eye pencil. So I'm enhancing my socket line and extending the length of my eye using this product right here. And I'm going to diffuse the pigment above that specific line and secure using a coordinating shadow color and a large fluffy brush. Now I'm creating depth using a smaller shadow brush and a darker eyeshadow. Using a small paintbrush, I'm applying glitter adhesive to the socket line, and then I'm using that same small eyeshadow brush and applying glitter in three separate colors, black, blue, and violet, to exaggerate the socket. Now to add some more light to this eye, as well as coordinate with costume, I'm adding black Swarovski crystals to the outer edge where I've placed the black glitter. And to secure those to the eye, I used a little black eyelash glue as a base. Using a sponge, I'm applying Milk of Magnesia, which will soothe the skin and mattify it for oil-based cream foundations. Apply a color corrector to neutralize the beard. If you happen to have a very strong beard, this would be a highly suggested step, and if it's not as noticeable, then I'd say you could skip this completely. Set the color correction using a large fluffy brush and a translucent powder. This is to ensure that this orange does not mix in with the white foundation base that we're starting with. Begin with highlighting your face using your fingers underneath the eyes as this is the most sensitive skin on the face I've mentioned before and using your hand really gets in all the little nooks and crannies of the skin that surrounds the eye. So in order to bring the Cosmic Queen out, I'm using my own hands and this cream product, which happens to be the Flash Palette by Makeup Forever, it includes the entire color scheme for me to base the structure of the face. And in order to find the bone structure, I focus on the high plane, so the top of the cheekbones, the center of the forehead, and the bridge of the nose, and the center of the chin. This will narrow the face and exaggerate the bones where you'd like it to be. and minimize structure like the jawline or if you have a wide nose the outsides of the nostrils so you'll see with the placement I do here contour the face using turquoise from Makeup Forever's flash palette and a small paintbrush placing along the bridge of the nose To narrow a strong jawline, I'm placing this turquoise on a paintbrush on top of the bone structure. To gradiate the contour palette even further, I'm using bright blue from the cream palette. Thank you. 
using a Sigma brush, stipple all of the tones together in a mindful way. If you feel that you've lost your highlight or contour at any point in time, since it's a cream, you can reapply using the previous paintbrush and existing color. Using a large fluffy brush, I'm using HD powder to secure the foundation application. With the Ket airbrush system, I'm dramatizing the highlights and the contours of this alien face, starting with the highlight in pure white. And now I'm reintroducing depth to my contours using Ket Hydrocolor in blue. With my Truco blush brush, I'm applying MAC Peony Petal, which happens to be a cool pink blush. This is going to complement the all-over color palette for my face. I like to redefine the tip of my nose using a shadow brush and a coordinating shadow color. This really helps to read on camera and capture and photograph, so it's, it's a further detail. In an unseen step, I contoured further with black airbrush foundation. I'm just going through and diffusing those edges with my shading brush. Incorporate the crease color below the bottom lash line to really connect and seal the deal of the color story. Blend out and secure with a shadow in the same tone. Finish the eye with a black pencil and curl the lash and mascara. With a steady hand and the same eye pencil as previous, define a highly thin and arched brow. Now the home stretch, the lips. Seal the deal with a kiss. I like to use two shades of lip liner that have an orangey base and this is going to give a nice dimensional lip that complements the overall color palette to the face. And doesn't it look stunning? You can leave it matte or you can add a gloss, which I happen to do for the photographs. It's beautiful. Makeup is about self-discovery and inspiration, and for me, creating faces like this one specifically gives me a chance to share something special from things that I've collected while living here in New York. I hope you enjoyed watching Planet Blue, and I hope that you will continue to watch and subscribe to all my future tutorials. Thanks for watching.